Hi there you guys, my name is Brianna Molina and today I just wanted to talk a little bit about everything that's going on with Vanessa Guillen and what it kind of feels like to be a woman in today's military. I want to begin by saying I'm an active duty sailor, um, so I'm in the Navy and I can't speak for the actual Navy, big Navy and anybody who speaks on their behalf. I can only speak on my experiences and my own personal feelings and that's what I want to use my YouTube for. I really want to give my condolences to Vanessa Guillen's family and friends and anybody who is suffering through this situation because to me I think it is truly heartbreaking for something like this to happen. Um, being a Latina and being in the military, it is something that is very scary to hear about and very disheartening no matter if you're um, a man, woman, um, active duty or not, just hearing about something like this happening is truly heartbreaking. I do have to say within my experience in the Navy, I am constantly hearing about sexual assault, harassment, and all those types of things and there are a lot of different ways in which you can speak on those things, get help for those things. We do annual trainings and sometimes multiple times within the year on SAPR, which is sexual assault prevention. As much as you get training on it, unfortunately, the root of the problem will always be people. I truly feel like there is good and bad in every race, color, male, female, there's good and bad. It just is sad because I feel like being a member of the military, you're not, you know, just a regular American. You're supposed to be a little bit held to this higher standard. Even though unfortunately you do see the good and bad sides of people in the military, um, I truly believe that overall that we should still be held to that higher standard. And because of that, the whole Vanessa Yian situation is just heartbreaking. Um, I have seen many posts saying that if she was a piece of equipment and she was not there and it was, you know, inventory that no one would have been able to go home until that missing piece of equipment was found and honestly, I truly do believe that because there have been instances like that in the workplace with me being in the military where somebody doesn't finish their work and everybody has to stay. It's a whole team effort. Everybody has to stay behind and we stay that extra 20, 30 minutes, maybe even an hour while that person finishes up their work because that's what it's about. It's about being a team player. Like that Navy family is more than just, oh, I like hanging out with you. It's also like we're all going to go through everything together. They drill that in you from boot camp all the way through your military career. You know, one guy messes up, the whole team is going to go down for it, you know? To know that someone went missing and nobody cared or nobody like did anything like it's completely crazy to me sometimes people wake up late and there's like five different people calling them in the office and we're trying to get a hold of that one person and thankfully it's usually just that like oh I woke up late oh my car didn't start something along those lines and it's never ever been a situation in my experience where somebody is not found but if it, that person wasn't found I just, I personally feel like my chain of command, that wouldn't fly. And the fact that it did happen and they just didn't find this woman and nobody did anything and nothing happened, like I just don't, it, I can't understand. I can't understand it and I think it's so wrong because I feel like if I for some reason was not able to be contacted, there would be knocks at my door, there would be people looking for me, there would be people there. and. No one was there, and that's so wrong. I think that this subject also can get very touchy because when we talk about women in the military, um, unfortunately I have seen the ugly side of um, those types of statements and ideas, um, and the whole women, you know, can't go dressed like that, out to things, women shouldn't be out drinking, these things can happen to women, and don't get me wrong, to a certain extent, Growing up, my mom always told me, you have to be careful, don't be the last one to leave the party, you have to act like a lady, and by making choices or by putting myself in situations of possibly going out with friends and drinking or being around a bunch of males, like I shouldn't have to worry about my safety, but you do. You do. As a female, you do, period. But it shouldn't have to be that way, and I just feel like for something that to me is so black and white, a female soldier who's serving her country going missing, um, it's black and white, it's wrong, it's sad, she should be found and there deserves to be justice and her family and friends deserve nothing but that. So for there to be others sitting here and being like, oh well what did she do? 
what caused this and trying to put blame on this person who currently is missing, who currently we don't know the situation. I just don't feel like blame should be put on that person. I'm just happy that social media has become this great platform to get word out because if it wasn't for my Instagram account and being able to see these constant posts and snippets of the news channels and stuff like that, like I wouldn't know about something like this. So although it's good that social media is spreading the word, it's sad that it has to be spread. A person speaking out on sexual assault, a person who is a woman, who is a younger woman, feeling unsafe in her work environment and nothing happening is just completely wrong. Being a female in the military, I do have to say it definitely did hurt to hear about this and people are always asking like, oh, how do you feel about Vanessa Gee? And have you heard about Vanessa Gee? And I'm like, of course I have heard about it. And they're always like, well, how do you feel about that? Like, that's crazy. And I was like, well, I can agree that I feel like if it was a piece of equipment missing, no one would have gone home. So I don't understand why a whole person was missing and nobody did anything. I don't understand. And I do have to be very grateful that within the Navy and my work environment, I don't feel like that would happen. But it happening at all is completely, completely unexcusable. I had to come on here and speak out because it shouldn't be taken lightly and it shouldn't, and it shouldn't be just tossed to the side or just one post and then it goes away because people are suffering, people are really going through it, her family and friends are sitting here with questions and concerns and they don't have answers and that is wrong. For those women who are active duty military, please, please talk, please speak out, don't be fearful and I understand that that can be hard especially with a situation like this going on right now but talk to your families talk to those people that you do trust in, talk to the find, find those people who you can talk to because in today's day and age for something like this to happen, it's just a wake up call. It is just a very sad and scary wake up call that something like this can happen to an active duty soldier um, in, in just in the middle of the day and just a regular work life when she she's not on leave she's not out of her you know duty station she she was just living and for that to happen i think was completely crazy and wrong so again my biggest condolences to vanessa gee and family and friends and all those who knew and loved her i could not imagine what my family would feel like if something like that happened to me and i just truly truly Feel for this family and my heart truly goes out to them. They have been in my prayers and I hope that they find answers. I hope that they get justice because that's what they deserve. That's what Vanessa Guillen deserves and I also have to say that I hope that this is not only a wake-up call but that this also shines light on some of those individuals who are sitting here making negative commentary about women not only in uniform but in general. Women do not deserve to be judged because of the way that they dress. I live in Hawaii, that is my current duty station, and taking a bikini picture and posting on your Instagram does not determine who you are and what you should then have to endure or go through or be treated like by a man. It is simply just an expression, and I know plenty of females who love posting bikini pictures and others who don't always post bikini pictures, but either way, I don't think a woman should be judged by the way that she's dressed. I believe she should be judged by the way she carries herself in the way that she speaks and treats others around her. I am a firm believer in that. I think the greatest change comes from every individual person. I think everybody needs to have a little bit more of an open heart and be able to understand the other side. For those speaking negatively on Vanessa Guillen or her family or the process in which things are and can find this defense, I think that they need to be reminded that if this was someone that you loved, how would you feel? I think that people need to be reminded that it's not always about just you and what you've endured in your point of view, but you have to open up your eyes to other things that maybe you realize or need to realize that you haven't been exposed to. And especially as a man speaking on a woman and what is happening to a woman, I think you have to be also specifically very careful. I don't think that it's right for men to sit here and judge women on the fact of how they post pictures or how that they dress and then are able to say, well, that's why that happened to her. Nothing like that should happen to her regardless. Whether a woman is dressed head to toe covered or is wearing a bikini at the beach and taking a picture of herself, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That is a woman's choice and especially in today's day and age where 
social media is such a huge part of our lives and it's just a form of expression, not only to post pictures where you feel young and pretty and you're maybe showing some skin, but also it's a platform to talk about things that matter. So if you can judge a woman on what she's wearing, but you can't even speak on what matters and look at the badness that's going on in the world and call it out, there's something very, very wrong with those two things colliding and it's not right. You guys, that is the end of my video. I really don't want to sit here and offend anybody. I don't want to sit here and say the wrong things. Being completely honest, I was nervous to make this video because I truly am trying to find a respectable way to respect the Navy and the military because it hasn't done anything to me while also calling out something that is happening to a fellow female service member who deserves justice and whose family deserves answers. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, please start a conversation, please share your feelings of what's going on with this subject with me, with the world, on your social platforms, make it a topic of a conversation. And although it may be hurtful to even see what others' opinions are, it's important to continue to talk about it. We should not sit here and just sit by and watch these things happen. We should speak out, we should comment, we should talk, we should share because this is somebody's daughter, this is somebody's sister, and this was at the end of the day, a woman who was serving her country, and this should never happen to her or anybody ever. I am very, very hopeful in justice coming for Vanessa Guillen's family and my prayers, condolences, and simply love go out to her and her family and loved ones. Thank you guys so much for watching. So I've been hoping for a new melody just to get me